Welcome to the project demonstration of transformer overload detection and load sharing by using PIC microcontroller. So here we are going to check the load on this transformer, this uh, current transformer. So we are measuring the load presented on the main transformer. Then we are using two transformers, so transformer 1 and transformer 2. So this transformer 2 will connect it to the load in parallel to this transformer 1 whenever the heavy load was detected and that will be identified by our peak microcontroller and uh, it will keep on checking the load by using this current transformer which was connected in series with the load so we are using dc loads and though we are using the ac transformers we need to convert the ac to dc that will be done with the help of this regulated power supply board which will take ac input so here the directly uh, like uh, phase was directly given as input to this uh, regular power supply and the neutral uh, parallelly connected through this transformer sorry this electromagnetic relay so this transformer output is connected in series with this relay when the relay gets switched on these two transformers will be in parallel so the output is input through this current transformer so you can see that is connected in series to this regular power supply board which will take ac input and provide us the pure dc and that is the input to this loads 12 volts load directly to this two leds totally six uh, sorry uh, four leds are in parallel so when it be on this then automatically the external load will connect into the uh, main load and then the load will be increased that will be identified by this current transformer so current transformer output is input to the peak microcontroller at a0 pin through this ac to dc converter there we can see the rectifier which will convert the ac to pulsating dc and capacitor remove to remove the pulses and provide as a pure dc voltage and that is the input to the analog pin of our peak 16f72 microcontroller so based on the threshold value whenever the threshold value crosses it's indicated as overload and that will be displayed on the lcd screen and buzzer will get switched on and the relay will get switched on to add the secondary transformer in parallel to the first transformer to load sharing and that will be displayed on the same LCD screen and the output is connected to this electromagnetic relay at pin number C7 and B2 to B7 is connected to the microcontroller for this LCD screen and here we are providing 2 30 volts AC inputs to the transformers and to this regulated power supply board which will take 2 30 volts AC input and provide as the constant 5 volts DC outputs just beyond that there is a welcome message on the LCD screen so normal load now it is normal load. Just we need to reset that. Initially we had on that. Right. Let it set in. Right. So let the capacitor to be discharged. So as it is charging one, so let the capacitor to be discharged. So once the capacitor is stabilized one, now it is normal load okay so when we on the secondary load so then overload alert will be displayed on the lcd screen and the relay will get switched on and also now parallelly the transformer is connected into that and continuous message like sharing load will be displayed on the lcd screen normal load again so the relay will be switched off Now it is normal load. So in this manner we can show that. The main application of this project is whenever the heavy load was placed uh, from the uh, like a distribution section at uh, substations, then in order to protect the main transformers, then we will place the other secondary transformer in parallel with the main transformer. So the second transformer will load, uh, share the load and inform to the substation guys about to uh, check the loads. Because without interrupt the output, without uh, like... Uh, damage to this main transformer we are placing the secondary transformer so that we don't interrupt the output load means heavy load was heavy load was detected then the transformer may get damaged so there are two reasons first thing is the like uh, the output will get interrupt power and the transformer may get damaged in order to protect that two cases then we place the secondary transformer to load sharing one in substations or in gated community bigger apartments or in hospital zones